Hi, my name is Sam Biddle and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do this portrait in gel paint. This is part of my portraits class that you can find on beinspired.online. And this is a bonus lesson, which I thought I would share some of it with you. So in this lesson, we're going to paint a female with glasses and I'm going to use gel paint. I wanted to go through different options of gel paint. I've got these from Nail Artist. We've got some gel paint with inhibition layers, some without. The Legrand gel is brilliant for this kind of painting because every time you cure it, it has no sticky layer when it's done. But to use the gel paint, you could have a gel paint with a sticky layer, non-sticky layer. It doesn't really matter. The whole point of gel paint is that it is a thicker viscosity than regular gel polish. Um, and obviously, if you want to do this in paint, you can do this in paint as well. Really, we're only going to use a skin color and a brown. That's the only two colors that we actually need. And the skin colors that you have, you will find your, your favorite, the one that you love the most. I mean, this one here that I've just unpacked is from Le Grand and it is a beautiful skin color. I've got this uh, real peachy color as well, which is going to, because she's quite fair skinned and she's got a pink tinge to it, we're gonna use that as well. But ultimately, try out what skin colors you love and see how you fare with them and what uh, happens. I'm also gonna use Alice McNeil's new brushes. I've only just got them, so I'm excited to use them. And you can see that they're very thin and they're sort of, there's a striper brush, a longer striper brush as well that you could use. But I wanted to show you that there are different options. Um, and the idea is, is that you try something uh, different every time so that you know what you enjoy. We're going to start underneath the eye. Now, the one, the reason why I chose glasses is because we look at the glasses and we think, oh, they're in front. We're going to paint those first. But while I want you to ignore the glasses, what we're going to do with this particular lesson is look at paint techniques. You can draw the picture yourself. You know how to do that using the CRM method. Go back and look at some of the other lessons with the iPads uh, just to refresh yourself. But what we want to do now is we want to look at drawing hands and the glasses and all of the actions that somebody draws and actually really try and tell a story, but also use shadow to create that depth. Now, we talk about shadow quite a lot during this course and using the different shades of one color, so the skin color, we're gonna add brown to the skin color to actually make it the shadow lines. Using that shadow and um, adding the different colors is actually going to give you the feeling of a, a realistic painting, a, a, a real portrait. As I said before, I want you to look at this lesson and just look at the shadow. When you are looking at a piece of reference like this, look at shadow and look at highlights. So you can see underneath the eye, there is a slight to darker color to what you would have around the cheek area and the, uh, the side of the cheeks. If you imagine that you're adding makeup, you are going to contour your face. You're going to do the same thing, but we're doing it with gel paint. And you're contouring this face all the time by adding the different shadows and highlights. My suggestion would be to pause this video as you go so that there are some elements in this video that will be sped up because it's a, otherwise it becomes over a couple of hours. Um, but pause the video. This is going to take you a couple of hours to paint. Enjoy the process, watch the video, stop it, and then fill in the blanks. But the first step before I let you crack on and you don't have to listen to my voice anymore is to get the main body of the face down which is color we've obviously sketched the face first off but then you want color 
And when you get that color down, you're going to use the skin color and then you're going to add and then keep adding the shadow. So you add a darker shade of the original skin color down and just keep adding and just keep applying it around the edges. We don't want dark lines around the edges. We want to create shadow. So the lips are going to be higher than the skin area. There's going to be a slight form of shadow. The glasses are going to cause shadow. The eyelids are going to cause the shadow. So just by adding layers and layers of gel paint, you can create this amazing effect, this realistic effect. We're going to come in and we're going to do the detail around the eye. Now, as I said in previous lessons, some um, artists like to start with the detail and work out from, say, the eye. I personally like to start with skin tone just to get the basic shape right and then go into the eye because the eye takes time. And if I'm not going to get that shape of the face right, the eye is just a waste. And what you want to do, again, is constantly look at the reference, have that reference in front of you, but also try and see beyond the glasses because this eye is behind the glass. Now, I'm going to say a lot of the detail in the eye is going to be hidden with the reflection in the glass. So don't spend too much time doing this. What we do want to do is we want to get that detail in and we want to get the very, very fine crisp lines in and if you're struggling with the ore gel paint then you could use acrylic paint to do that as well that always works and what I'm doing now is I've got a mixture of black and the dark brown and I'm going around the edges of my glasses we're going to fill in this glass area with a lighter brown just to give a sort of mottled tortoise shell effect what we want to do is make sure that we have a darker rim. Now, this is going to help with your shadowing. You can see already how much shading and shadowing that we've actually created, but it's quite a lot. It's quite soft. You don't really notice. You've got that contour on the side of the nose. But just by adding an outline, which is not black, by the way, it may look like black on here but just by adding this outline what it does is it brings it forward and away from the face now what's really important to understand here is if you've done the face and you're really worried about putting this over the top because you think you might then muck it up one thing that you can do is you can actually top coat this with a matte top coat. Now, what matte top coat does is it will push back that skin. And when you do the glasses over the top, it actually will look like they're in front of the skin. It just is like an optical illusion. And then obviously the hand is going to be in front of the face as well. So it doesn't really matter about that. What I would definitely do is get the neck done before you top coat. So forget the glasses, do the neck, don't do the hand and then top coat. And I would do a matte top coat and that just pushes everything back. And then you can always gloss the whole thing at the very end if you want to. So I'm going to zip along ahead and you can see that I've done the hand and we've just going to add some additional detail to the rest of this uh, portrait. Now this is actually a bonus lesson in my full portraits course where I talk about the CRM method. We do a lot of sketching, we look at eye shapes, we look at uh, mouth shapes, how to draw mouths, how to draw noses, how to draw eyes, as well as how to do, draw men and women side um, profile as well as front like this. Um, and this uh, particular course is all available for you online, lifetime access. And if you're wanting to get into doing portraits on nails or even just to do portraits, it's something that I absolutely enjoy doing because just bringing life to um, to a face, uh, whether it is through uh, digital art or whether it's through nail art, it's fantastic. So go check out the lesson. I've linked that uh, down below in the details. 
but you can see here that we've uh, worked on the hand and we're just adding the details in with shadows and highlights. It's all about shadows and highlights in this particular lesson. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fix the hair and then we are going to do the highlight on the glasses. To finish this particular lesson, what we're going to use is a MAC top coat and then a combination of a gloss top coat as well. Now the gloss top coat is for the glasses and that means that we've got those glass-like effects. So you don't necessarily have to actually paint the highlight into them. You could get away with just using the gloss top coat. It's entirely up to you. But I've hoped you've enjoyed this lesson and I look forward to seeing your results online. Don't forget to tag me.